Well, I think it's a progression. It's not something completely new. It's building on our strengths from the past. And also it's recognizing a number of factors that have changed in the last five years. I mean, there's been an intensification in the debate around the connectivity of water, the implications of, uh, say, water policy on agriculture, water policy on uh, in energy, climate change, and recognition that IMI's work goes broader than just agricultural water management, and we need to embrace these other dimensions. And many of the solutions are actually found in the connectivity between bringing the sectors together. Moving from our original focus, which is more around agricultural water management and a vision of water for a food secure world, to a broader vision statement of water, a water secure world. In other words, looking at the, the whole, all the dimensions of water security from individual through local, regional to global, looking at the issues around urban water as well as rural water, looking at the consequences of trade-off decisions you know, between different sectors and the sorts of discussions that are going around what, what's called the, the nexus, the, the implications of the sort of water, food security, energy security, climate change, environment interactions. But if you imagine the situation uh, you know, within a river basin, maybe a basin that's shared between countries, then there are issues of maybe countries who wish to develop that for, for hydropower, other countries who wish to develop more for irrigation, the complex interconnectivities between water, which is now used for agriculture, about 70% of water is, uh, is, is diverted for agriculture, and the growing urban cities. So all these sorts of questions need to be resolved through the political sphere. And what support, what evidence can a research organization like IMI provide to that process? What products and tools can we bring to that discussion to lay out for decision makers the different scenarios and the consequences of those scenarios, which would inform the decisions they take around sustainable management of, of water resources? In many cases, we've been working in some of these areas already. And what we're intending to do over the next five-year strategy period is to, is to grow. And we want to grow into particular areas around, as I said, the sort of water futures, looking at scenarios, looking at uh, sustainable intensification through putting ecosystems at the heart of decision-making around agriculture. Uh, we want to bring gender more into the, into the decisions because we know from some of the experience we have, this feminization of agriculture, for example, that women are currently disadvantaged by the policy and regulatory environment. And so by opening that up, you can actually get better, more benefits by taking a gender disaggregated perspective on development.